What about the investment piece, the money piece, the market, you know, I mean, the, 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 the investment in the business, the marketing, the branding, all that kind of stuff. You talked a lot about that last night too. Yeah, the, 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 there's a way to spend money smartly and there's a way to spend money, you know, pretty dumb. Yeah. And I was spending money pretty dumb. Two ways. One, I wasn't spending enough. And that, that's, again, a limiting belief that I, I was scared to death to spend the kind of money that I'm spending today. Yeah. But what's funny is I was more scared spending a little bit of money than I am today spending, as you know, a lot, a lot more money in advertising. Why is that? Because once I did it, once I made that first step and gave it some time and, and was reasonable in my expectation. Yeah. You have to be reasonable that it, not everything's going to work today. It's not going to work today and perfectly. Yeah. Right. So once I did it and I gave it the time that it was, was reasonable to give it and altered a few things and changed some things and start to seeing it work, it comes to a point where if I can spend a dollar to make two or three or four, great. Now times that by 20 or 30 or 50 or 1,000. As long as I have that number coming back to me two or three times, I'm okay with it. Yep. And, and so the fear is gone because I've seen that work mm. where I spend the dollars, big, small, little, whatever it looks like, and it comes back to me. Yes. You guys need to take the, take the step, okay? It, it's all, the, the toughest, the person we need to believe in the most is us. Mm -hmm. The person we struggle to believe the most in at times is us. You know, it's that internal game the, the battle and because even even you said earlier you're with the bunch of the UHC guys at a meeting and you're like man I could never do that <laughs> right that is doubt creeping in but that's the a lot of the times that's the first thing we think yeah you know uh, I, I do it all the time I'm walking out to a conference and I'm, I'm I'm like man I don't know if I can do that as good as that person just did and then I'm like no 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 hang on a second you can do better and and quit worrying about doing it perfectly yes. I'm going to fail. When I walk out this door tomorrow back in my office, I'm going to make mistakes. That's so good, by Every the way. single day. But quit worrying about it. Perfect is impossible. No, and, and by the way, I, let me go back. It, it's no different than you saying in some, of your, in some of your videos, I need to get through how many no's, right? So just get me enough no's and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my goal. Same thing with make mistakes. I just need to make enough mistakes that I'm gonna to get to the point where I'm making the right decisions and I'm gonna figure out what's right and wrong. Yes. But I'm gonna make mistakes all along the way. I, I'm trying, I'm not there yet, yeah. to almost look to make mistakes. I, let me see what I can do wrong to figure yes. out what I gotta do right. Yes, I love that. You're, you're in a place too where I can see from a, finance, from a, from a car, business career standpoint, is this the happiest you've ever been in your career? Yeah, it is absolutely the happiest, yeah. It's such a cool feeling. It is, it is fun. It's fun because I'm excited to go back and I've got some really great guys that, and gals that work with me, but I'm excited to go back and find more people to bring in the team yes. and see them grow. I mean, that, that agent that I brought in, I don't, we didn't talk about it uh, about a year ago, to see him do so well yep. is, is just the funnest thing. Dude, so Way cool. funner than anything I've bought recently. Why is it that, that, that the people aspect, like helping others and bringing others up and seeing them win, we end up getting more gratification out of that than seeing ourselves win. Because I got excited. He brought his wife, and I know his wife and his and his, yeah. and his children, his two daughters, and and they're amazing people. And they bought a brand new house, and they they That's feel comfortable awesome. enough to buy a house with the opportunity that him and I and the other team members yes. are, are developing. And that's really fun to watch. Mm. I mean, it's fun to have my own home. It's fun to us to go yeah. on trips, and I'm going to keep doing that. But to see him feel comfortable enough to take those kind of risks and do those kind of things and grow his family is just. I think you see that. I think you feel and see that you're really winning and succeeding when you see you helping others win and succeed too, yeah. versus it just being about us. Like, like it's easy. I almost think too. Like, if if someone has the ability to be Casey Peterson with people and freaking blow up their business and start to think on a different level and help people, that they're selfish if they don't. That's, I, I that's weird, agree. though. I couldn't agree more. Okay. No, I, it is weird. Okay, so tomorrow you walk out the door and you shut this all down and you just go out and be Cody Askins by yourself. Is that selfish? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes it yes, is. It is, it is. The answer. Yes, it is. That, that's the answer. That's a good analogy. But that's the answer because how many people now have to go out and figure it out right. on their own? That's not ego. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that's pride at all. I don't, yeah, I don't think it is either. That's a really good point. What do you guys agree? I want to hear in comments below because that, that's that's that was brilliant. It's fun, and, and he say and he says people are smarter than him. No, dude, he's got his IQ probably puts me to shame, guaranteed. Okay, 
how, how, why are the people aspects so important to, to growth, not from the satisfaction winning success standpoint, but from the um, internal engine? Like you've seen uh, uh, the, 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 the best thing that I've personally ever done is surround myself with incredible freaking people. And man, I am so grateful and so blessed to have unbelievable people. Yeah. The, it's, it's neat. I've got another guy that's only been a couple of months in our office and um, he is driven. I mean, this guy's got vision boards and he's got ideas and he's got goals and he is a driven guy. And he is, the, you ask why the people thing is so important because he's like 24. I'm 47. Mm. I, I learn from him all the time. I'm excited about what he has to share. And so the people aspect is great because you get to learn and grow and be better because of these other people around you. Yes. My admin, she's got some huge goals in her life and she, I'm watching her do it every day. She wants to be healthier. I watch what she brings to eat. I watch what she brings to lunch. I, she talks about what they did over the weekend and, and some of the big goals that she has. And so to, to be involved in, in some of those things and the other five stories I could tell you is really exciting because it takes you out of you. I get in my head a lot because I have all these decisions to make. I have yep. all these things that I want to do. And so I start you know, putting my head down and going to work. And when I take a step back and start paying attention to what these other people are doing around me, it, it, it puts my head in the better place. It makes you better too with people watching. Yes. It's like you're always <laughs> playing a game, a, a basketball game with people in the stands. Yeah. Or with teammates. So I learned something about that. I used to, years ago in another career, I, I always had my door shut. And until people came in to meet with me, I had my door shut. So in this career, my door doesn't get shut unless it's a client meeting. So they can hear me on the phone. They can hear me in my interaction. My kids call, they hear me. Sometimes my kids do things and they upset me. And I have to remember, not only are they listening, but I should be doing the right thing in how I interact with my kids and other, and vendors. And like, I wanted to blow up at a vendor the other day, like lose it on this vendor. They completely botched a huge project. All right, stop. What would you do? Now let's see what Casey did. Well, <laughs> what I would normally do with my door shut is I'd, I'd come unhinged. Yeah. But I'm, it, it, because my door was open, I had to take a beat. And because I took a beat, I was able to put it in perspective and say, what am I going to do about mm. this? Losing my mind on this person who I have a long-term relationship with who's going to help me in the future is going to damage that person relationship. So I was able to take a beat and say, okay, how are you going to fix this? Where I would have said, you will fix this and hung up on it. Mm. But because I said, okay, how are you going to fix this? I was able to have it, put it back in their court. And so the door being open, them hearing how I interact made me a better person because yes. I was worried about my personal relationship with my admin and with my, my guys in the office hearing me be a jackass. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah. That takes a special maturity. <laughs> or have been a jackass a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want to be that guy again. <laughs> <laughs> never again. <laughs> Hopefully never again. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. It, you, are, you have like a special energy about you that you, like I'm telling you guys, you get to know this cat. I'm telling you, like he, he, he just, he, from a, like a relationship standpoint, personality standpoint, you're one of the easiest person 